So alpha olefin sulfonate is a sulfonate of alpha olefins, obviously, and uh, typically these alpha olefins are in the C14 to 16 chain length range. An alpha olefin is an alkyl chain with one double bond right at the end. Um, AOS is commonly sold as a 40% liquid, 40% solution in water, or an approximately 90% solid bead or a powder. So to make AOS, you're gonna sulfonate alpha olefins in a falling film sulfonation reactor of the type supplied by Balestra and of the type which you may already be using to make LAS, SLS, SLES, etc. Alpha olefins themselves are typically made by ethylene addition. And so you're oligomerizing that ethylene into long chains and a typical plant will produce a distribution of products from C4 all the way up to C30. To buy AOS, you're gonna to talk to companies like Pilot, Stepan, Nurion, etc. And to buy alpha olefins, you're gonna be talking to Chevron, Philips, Shell, Sabic, ExxonMobil, Ineos, companies like that. Where is AOS used? Well, it's a great cleaner. It's an anionic surfactant, so you're gonna find it in a range of products in household cleaning, including laundry detergent, hard surface cleaners, etc. And also, of course, on, in personal care cleaning, shampoo, body wash, hand soap, etc. There's two things you can do on the personal care side. You can go plug the Inky name, which I've just told you what it is, into Inky Decoder, and that will show you a range of consumer products that have uh, AOS in them. Or, of course, you can go, like I do, to Potion AI, put in the Inky name, get a bunch of products, and then deformulate one or two that you're interested in, if you like, to get a sense of how those formulations look. Who's using them? You've got brands from L'Oreal, uh, Garnier and Kiehl's in particular, um, OGX, which I guess is part of J&J &J or Kenview, whatever uh, they call themselves these days. K18 is a Unilever brand. There's a whole bunch of others as you can, uh, you can check out online. What about regulatory? AOS has a pretty solid record. It's been around for a long time. The key thing to look out for is sultones. And so, you know, for all these things, I recommend go to the Cosmetic Ingredients Review, the CIR. But for sultones, um, levels have been established for uh, unsubstituted alkane sultones. You want to see less than 10 ppm. Chlorosultones, less than 1 ppm. And unsaturated sultones, less than 10 ppm in the surfactant product. Why am I talking about AOS? Well, as noted last week, AOS is now showing up in a lot of formulations which are being marketed as sulfate-free. AOS has the perceived benefit of being not ethoxylated and therefore it does not give rise to concerns about dioxane content. As I said, it's been around since probably the 60s. It's got a pretty clean tox record and it has the advantage of being able to be produced on literally several hundreds of already installed sulfonation plants with probably only minor modifications globally. So it has a lot going for it and is probably worth a fresh look. Thanks for listening. I hope you have found this useful. As I coded to this video, a number of you have asked me, Neil, what is that there, right there over your left shoulder? Well, let's, let's take a look. The Surfactant blog now has merch. Here's our baseball cap. You can see it has the letter S on it uh, inside a Surfactant micelle, very cool. And that complements the Surfactant t-shirt which we also have. Now these are not for sale right now. There's no amount of money. There's no amount, no matter how much you offer me, that can get you one of these right now. We're gonna be giving some away um, uh, by some rubric which I've yet to develop. 
And then what I'm working on is some sort of charity um, money raising effort where you can buy one of these things and probably some other products we add to the range. Um, and part of the proceeds, well, the profit, I'm going to cover my own cost. And then the profit's going to go to a, um, a worthwhile charity, which we're uh, working on partnering up with. So um, Sir Fact and Blog merch, something to look forward to. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Thanks again for listening to this bit.